All right, let's clear things up. As early as the beginning of the year, everyone was excited about the huge chance that XRP would reach $10,000. Also, guess what? That guess has just become much more accurate. Larry Fink from BlackRock is officially supporting this. Think about this. There's more to it than just $10,000 per XRP. Sorry, he's making the point that it's a basic need. Hi, Money Side family. Welcome back to the place where you can find everything about XRP. Before we get into the meat of today's post, let's quickly catch up. Please do me a small favor. Tap the like button, subscribe, and bell button to become a part of our wonderful group. Also, here's a heads up. As we get closer to 60,000 subscribers, we're getting ready for a huge XRP gift. It's really easy to enter the giveaway. Just do these three easy things. So make sure you are tuned in, ready to go. To make sure you get into the giveaway, don't forget to leave a code for money side in the comments. This is where it gets juicy. Imagine that big names in finance like BlackRock and Vanguard are now seriously thinking about using XRP for their foreign transactions. Don't worry, things will get better. There are rumors that BlackRock will release an ETF that focuses on XRP. You did hear that right. There's more though. That was not all Larry Fink did. He's looking at the huge real estate market, which is worth $30 trillion. Can you guess what the future holds for it? That's it. The XRP system all set to turn everything into tokens. Also, a huge $1.2 quadrillion from the International Swaps and Traders Association is going to run through the XRP. Ledger and Ripple on it. There's more to it than just $10,000 per XRP. That's how kids play. The value of each XRP could go through the roof, reaching as much as $60,000. Wow, that's really cool. Let us move on to the next part. Another big surprise came from Larry Fink of BlackRock. There's more to him than just talking. Things are about to get really big for Ripple and its digital currency XRP. Everything will be tokenized. And the next part of our movie has a clip that will get people's attention. The move by BlackRock towards an XRP ETF was confirmed by Larry Fink himself. Let's not wait any longer. Feel free to watch this clip now. Adding a way. Bitcoin ETF is one way that we're making it official. We're making things safer. Now, let me ask you this. Are you going to do another ETF? What about an XRP ETF? You have Ether out there. I know that. What about XRP? Could you answer that? I can't. Do you not want me to answer that? Sure. I'm afraid I can't. Okay, don't blame me. We've seen a lot of strange things happen in the crypto world lately, mostly when it comes to XRP. Think about this on the famous market crypto.com. XRP's value went through the roof and reached an amazing $43,000. It's not just a one time thing. XRP's value is rising quickly and suddenly more and more often. Remember last week when we talked about a $7,000 XRP bug at a major exchange? Now it's crypto.com's turn. And it looks like these sudden price jumps for XRP are happening all the time on different markets. Moving on to something else, though. Something equally interesting that I found through in-depth study has nothing to do with BlackRock or the overall XRP market surge. We're going to talk about Gary Gensler, the famous SEC head who took over for Jake Clinton. Gensler always puts XRP in the security category, which most of you may already know. This is where it gets interesting. Robert M. Gensler is Gary Gensler's identical twin brother. They are the same age and look a lot alike. As vice president to Roe Price, Robert is a very important person there. If you look a little more closely, you'll see that T. Roe Price isn't just any investment company. It's one of the biggest ones that is putting a lot of money into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and yes, XRP. There seems to be a strange link here. Gary Gensler, who is in charge of the SEC, keeps calling XRP a security. However, his twin brother is very involved with an investment company that has a lot of money invested in XRP and other cryptocurrencies. It's an interesting contrast that makes me wonder about the complicated dynamics at play in the world of cryptocurrency investments and laws. Now we come to an exciting option. Could Robert Gensler, vice president of T, Roe Price, know something that no one else does about XRP's possibilities, like they do about Bitcoin and Ethereum? When you think about how much the company has invested in these three cryptocurrencies, this idea starts to make sense. In public, the SEC says there is no such thing as insider trading, but many stories and investigations have shown that there is. These investigations, which have mostly been about market manipulation and insider trading, have frequently shown that the SEC is doing things that aren't right. It looks like a pattern is starting to form. It looks like SEC employees are telling their friends and family about which digital assets might soon no longer be considered stocks. Then, these family members spend early. When the asset is publicly declared non-security, its value goes through the roof, making these family and friends rich by buying low and selling high. In this situation, Let's think about the chance that Robert N. Gensler got inside information from his brother Gary Gensler about how the SEC might lose a case against XRP. 
This kind of information could mean that Congress wants Ripple Labs and the SEC to reach a deal. Smart buyers should jump at this chance to buy XRP. But seeing the T-Row price send more money into Bitcoin, Ethereum, and most importantly, XRP adds another layer to this story. While everyone in the crypto community is talking about how XRP could hit unbelievable highs, like $10,000, $20,000, or even $60,000 analysts who have been bullish on XRP, like Jack, the, even though this prediction is very bold, it shows how much people are interested in and guessing about XRP and its possibilities in the cryptocurrency market. Wall Street wants a piece of the XRP pie because it's so profitable. And my guess? An XRP ETF will be the first big play. But let's look into it more, more than just the surface of this change. Crypto Basic has some interesting news for us. An analyst says that JP Morgan has made a big move into XRP, which has caught the attention of a former head of Ripple. This news really made me scratch my head, and we need to talk about it. This is how the story goes. Ben Armstrong, who used to work for the BitBoy crypto brand, brought up some controversial claims about JP Morgan's supposed investment in XRP, which made an ex-Ripple director respond. In a series of tweets, a well-known figure in the crypto world said this. He says that JP Morgan has bought a huge amount of XRP tokens, dash, 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 7.5 million of them. Armstrong then says that this move is worth about 7.5% of all of JP Morgan's wealth. But wait, this math doesn't make sense at all. To give you an idea of how much 7.5 million XRP is worth now, 4.46 million. Doesn't even come close to 7.5% of JP Morgan's wealth. Armstrong's math doesn't quite work out when you consider that JP Morgan's overall assets are a huge $3.89 trillion as of 2023. Even so, Armstrong stresses how important JP Morgan's supposed plan is, implying that they are secretly hoarding XRP. He said that this makes JP Morgan an up-and-coming industry giant in the world of cryptocurrencies. There's a story going around that big banks on Wall Street, like JP Morgan, might be getting involved with crypto, especially XRP. Even though the math may not be quite right, considering the possibility of big banks getting involved in crypto is not something to be ignored. It's part of a bigger trend where traditional banking and digital currencies are coming together, and XRP is at the center of some very interesting changes. Armstrong's tough words have also brought attention to BlackRock the biggest name in asset management. People are upset because he says BlackRock is now interested in XRP for its financial portfolio after getting its. He shares Bitcoin ETF approved. That was not the end of Armstrong. He is also paying close attention to the current legal battle between Ripple and the US. Securities and Exchange Commission say thoughts. These huge financial companies are investing in XRP even though the court case is still going on. This shows that they have faith in XRP's bright future. Think about what would happen if this trend of gathering were real. It would mean that big names in finance are betting on XRP, even though its regulations are changing all the time. Okay, so here's the deal. It was always going to happen that Wall Street would accept crypto. Since more than five years ago, when I first talked about this, it seemed like a far-off dream. But now that Bitcoin is leading the way, do you think XRP won't do the same? To be polite, I have to disagree. The question is not, if but when in the case Armstrong painted, though, though that might not be the whole picture. But wait, the story gets more complicated. Matt Hamilton, who used to be the director of Ripple, responded to Armstrong's shocking comments with a lot of doubt. He wasn't sure if such a buy was legal and wasn't sure what effect it would have on XRP because there are so many of them. This is when Hamilton pulls out the calculator. The difference between 7.5 million XRP and the 100 billion XRP that are already in circulation is a very small zero point double zero seven five percent. In answer to Armstrong's claims, Hamilton even joked, I think this is a fake story. In a cheeky way, it's a reference to how unrealistic Armstrong's claims are, making it seem like you'd almost need a sarcastic lens to understand them. Okay, let's break down the numbers because, well, it pretty much speaks for itself. 